Hi, Canon 1171 here. And in this video, I want to show you a new script I have created that has been a request many people have asked. They have many scripts they would like to auto start with Poser. Like, for example, I have here the Dial Master that I use all the time. And I have the light dots that I also use all the time. And I would like them to start with Poser instead of having to launch them every time. And for that, I have created a new script called the script Auto Launcher, which is this one. Uh, the way it works is uh, we have a list here. And we have plus and minus buttons. The plus adds a new script. I'm going to add the Dial Master. And once it's in the list, if I enable the uh, auto launching, which is this button here, it has confirmed that it's enabled and it has turned orange. Now, every script that shows in this list will auto launch with Poser. This only needs to be done once. It changes a file in the Poser configuration that enables this script from this list to be auto launched with Poser. Meaning, I can add other scripts here, for example, the light dots. So now I have the dial master and the light dots added to the list. And uh, I can add and remove scripts from here as long as this button is enabled. The changes I do in this list will not change the, the auto launching. It just changes which scripts are going to launch. So this only needs to be done once. And for this to take effect, once this button is enabled, you need to restart Poser. But let's say I don't want to wait until I restart Poser. I want to launch them now. And for that, we have this other button here. So if I click this one, you will notice it will launch all the scripts in the list. So, of course, they will still launch next time you launch Poser. But if you don't want to wait until you reboot uh, or restart Poser, you can use this button to launch them now. The order the scripts are in the list, they do matter for some scripts. From some others, it doesn't. For this, two, it doesn't matter. But let's say you want the light dots to launch first and then Dial Master. You have these arrows here that you can use to change the order in which the scripts launch. So I want the Dial Master to launch first, so I put it here on the top. So the order they show here is the order they're going to be launched. So once you have this list set up like this, and the button has been enabled, you can actually close the script. You don't need it to be running for things to auto launch. Once you set it up, you can close it up. You don't need to open it again. And every time you start Poser, uh, the scripts you have chosen will auto launch with it. The only catch is that uh, to enable this functionality, the script needs to edit a Poser file that's in the installation folder. I have Poser installed on its own drive, on drive H, but you probably have it installed on the system drive C, which is protected by the UAC, which is a feature from Windows that protects the operating system from unauthorized changes that has pros and cons. In this case, it may play against you. For example, if you have Poser installed on drive C, which is the system drive, let me show you where the file that the script changes is located at. So first, locate where your Poser installation is, and then go to your default runtime, then Python, and then Poser scripts. Inside this folder, there is a file called the Poser Startup, which is this one here. You will notice it has a copy here called the Backup. This is created by the script. So whenever it changes this file, it creates a backup so it can restore back to how it was before. If you disable that button, let me show you which button it is. Let me launch it again. This button here, if you disable it, let's click it now. It has confirmed that it has been disabled you'll notice the backup file has disappeared, yes, meaning that the file now has been restored to how it was before. As you have noticed, this file is inside the Poser 12 installation folder structure, meaning that it may happen that if you have this installed on drive C, the Windows uh, user access control, the UAC, may prevent the script from changing this file. 
So let me show you what it looks like before you enable the script. So if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, it ends with this uh, load add-downs. And uh, this is where the line is going to be added. It's just a single line that the script adds. So let me close this now and enable the script auto-launching again. And let's open the, the file and take a look what happened. You will notice here that at the bottom of the file, a new line has been added, this one here. And what it does is it uh, tells Poser where my launcher is. And uh, this folder location here will vary depending on how and where you have installed your runtimes and Poser. In case the Windows UAC, the user access control, gives you access denied when you try to enable the script for auto launching this, this button here, if you try to enable it and you get access denied by Windows, you can come here and open this file in any text editor you like, like Notepad, and add this line here. I show this in the manual if you click this question mark here. It opens the PDF manual. And it has a section here called the Windows UAC Perils. And I give you guys instructions here on how to locate the file, uh, what to add to it, and uh, just read the manual here. And uh, it will tell you to add this line manually in case you get access denied uh, if you try to do it automatically from the script. So what you have to do is you have to locate where your script auto launcher was installed. And inside that folder, there is a classes folder. And inside that folder, there is, a, there is this file here. So once you locate this file, uh, copy and paste the location where it is installed in your computer. It will probably, probably be on drive C and uh, add a different path. So uh, just add this line here with the path that points to the launcher file. And uh, once you save this file, next time you launch a poser, any scripts you have added to this list will auto-launch with Poser. So I have not experienced uh, access denied from the UAC because my Poser is not installed on, on the system drive, but who knows? Depending on what level of paranoia your uh, Windows EAC is set to, it may prevent you from editing this file, and this is how you do it. All right, so that explains about everything. So um, next time I launch Poser, these two scripts, which I chose here, will auto-launch with Poser. And that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching.